I'm going to do really quick, guys, is I'm going to jump into a quick start training. This is only going to last about another 15, 20 minutes. But how many of you would love to know how, in the first 30 days, you guys can make an additional $750 and be positioned to make an extra $3,000 a month in your first 30 days? Anybody? Yeah. Okay. Let me show you how to do this. Very simple. The first thing we do when someone gets started, we want to know, determine your why. Why are you wanting to start a business? What is the reason you're wanting to start? Is it for income? Is it for time? So you get time back? There's a lot of people in a company making a lot of money, they just have no time. Is it because you're passionate about a church, you want to be able to stroke and check to your church, whatever they need? Is it about change? You just need a change in where you're at. Whatever it is, guys, you have to determine why you want to start a business. The reason why it's so important is because you're going to have ups and downs just like in life. And if you have a strong reason why you're doing the business, all the challenges you go through won't make a difference. And here's a very simple example. If we were standing on top of the building right now, and it was, it was say, 80 stories, and there was a two by four right across the, 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 from, from this building to that building, and there was $100 on the other side of the, uh, of, of the building, how many of you would walk across that two by four from one building to the other building if the wind was gusting at 50 miles an hour? Anybody? No, no, not at all. Now here's a question. What if it was the same building, same gusting wind, same two by four, but here's the difference. That building was on fire, and your kids or someone you love was on the other side. Would you go then? Yes. 100%, right? See, you have to determine why you're wanting to start a business, guys. And here's what I tell you. If you weren't interested, you wouldn't have shown up. If there wasn't something that you wanted better for you or your family, you wouldn't have shown up. But determine what it is. The second thing you have to do, guys, is be coachable. We have a proven system on how to help you have success. People sometimes they join our company like, hey, I want to try this way. And I'm like, listen, in 20, in 20, almost 21, 22 years, in 24 countries, if that's what, if the way to do it, we would be showing you that. How many people agree? Right? So we have a proven system on how to have success. So when you come in, just be coachable. And here's the reason why. The person that invites you, the person that's going to be working with you, every single person that's going to be helping you, if they give you wrong information and you do things wrong, they take a pay cut. So their income is attached to your success. So do you understand, they're going to teach you the right stuff that we've taught over and over again in 24 countries with all different cultures. It's interesting because sometimes people, when we sit down with them, they go, well, you don't know people in this state. Or the people in this town are different. Here's what I can tell you. Everybody wants a better quality of life. Right? So just come in, plug in, be coachable, and let us show you how to have success in our company. Number two, or the third part, guys, is have long-term commitment. Okay? Commit and don't look back. See, when my brother and I started this company, our, our business, over 11 years ago, we signed that application not to get started. We, started, we signed that application to finish, okay? So just commit to having success. And, and if you do that, and you just keep following our system, you can have success. Number th the last part, guys, is understand the objective. The objective is to teach you, through your contacts and through their contacts, is how to create that distribution of online storefronts of customers getting services. Okay? You're going to get some services, but a majority of your services will not and should not come through you. They should come from people that we show the business to and teach them to get customers and on and on and on. It's that McDonald's on every street corner philosophy that we're looking to build for you. And I promise you this, every single one of you know people that are a regional vice president in our company, like myself, they just haven't heard of the opportunity yet. Through our system, is to teach you how to find them. Okay? Now, here's what you can expect. You like the concept of getting paid off bills. You like the concept of like, hey, it's a no-brainer. If I'm going to pay this cell phone, who wouldn't be interested? Why wouldn't someone be interested in making more money, getting paid off bills, having unlimited income potential? Who wouldn't be interested in that? Here's what I can tell you. There's people out there that aren't interested in that. And you're going to be like me. You may go out, leave here if your spouse is at home. You might go to your best friend. You're going to leave here. You're going to call them up. Here's what you're going to say. Oh my gosh, I found an amazing way we can get paid off bills and you can get free service. And here's what you're going to hear, like my friend said. Ah, oh, tried one of those things before. My brother's cousin's uncle, nephew's co-worker tried those things, they don't work. They lost $10,000. How did they lose $10,000? It's $500. How many times did they sign up? I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. Right? But here's what I can tell you guys. There's people out there. They're struggling. How many people know people that you hear this? Oh, hump day. Yes. TGI Friday. Right? Think of this Friday. 
Oh, it's the weekend. Yay. Oh, it's Monday. <laughs> right? I can't stand my job. I can't stand working with them. They don't pay me enough. Is there people out there? Yes or no? Yes. Those are these people. They're trying to pull their life with square pegs. And we have an opportunity. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to show up. You're going to say, hey, listen, I found a better way. I found a better way. Here's what they're going to say. No thanks. We're too busy. <laughs> and sometimes people think, oh, well, then it's not right. They start to tell you guys, if it's not for them, it doesn't mean it's not right. It's just not for them. See, here's what I can tell you guys. I had friends and family that I shared this with that didn't join. I had friends and family that were negative. They said, those things don't work. No one ever makes money in those things. And here's what my mentor has told me. He goes, Damon, those friends, those family, do they write you a check every month to pay your bills? No. Nope. Then he says, you know what? Then their opinion doesn't matter. He says, their opinion doesn't matter. He goes, David, all those people that said these things don't work, these businesses don't work, do they own a business? I said, no. Then he goes, David, if they don't own a business, how are they giving you an opinion on a business if they don't own a business? He goes, they can. He says, David, here's the thing about it is instead of your friends and family that are struggling and you know this can help, instead of them borrowing from your courage because you're doing it, instead of borrowing from your courage and following you, it's easier just to try to rip you down to bring you back to where they are. Does that make sense? How many people heard that, that the saying, misery loves what? Company. company. You know what misery also loves? They, 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 they hate to lose company. Okay? So understand, people are going to be out there. Okay? There's 7 billion people in the, on this planet. Do you think you might be able to find six people? Because yeah. you only need six people that want to become a regional vice president like me to become a senior vice president to make ridiculous money. Okay? So don't be freaked out if your closest people don't see it. Especially if you're the one explaining it. Okay? Because I want you to think about this. The person invited you out, how hard are they working right now? <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why? Because it's by design. Okay? It's designed for you just to come here the correct way. You only remember 10% of what you hear. Your friends know you for you, and I'll get to that in a minute. But just understand you're going to run into that. So my mentor said, Dave, are you going to listen to people that don't know anything about business, that aren't having success? Because he says, because if you do, if you buy into their belief, you buy into their lifestyle. He goes, Dave, why don't you listen to people like this? How many people recognize these people? <clears throat> This is a multi-multi-billionaire by the name of Warren Buffett. He owns two home-based business network marketing companies. Okay? He says right here, energy deregulation will create the largest transfer of wealth in the history ever. Okay? How many people understand state by state by state is deregulating their gas and electric? You don't have it yet, but you guys understand it's coming? Who's your electric company out here? Excel. Excel? How many of you guys love Excel? No. You don't have a choice, do you? <laughs> they can give you horrible customer service. Yes. And if you don't like it, guess what they say? Light a candle. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think happens when competition comes in? I don't like it. And you give people a choice to leave them and maybe pay less. How many people choose choice? Yes. Listen, when we launched long distance and we rolled into local phone, there was people that said, I don't want to be with Quest, period. I don't care if I have to pay 10 times as much. I just don't want to be with them anymore. And that's going to be the same thing that happens here when energy comes. Now this gentleman here, he's made a few dollars, right? I love what he says, this is the richest people in the world uh, uh, look for and build networks while everyone else just looks. This guy, you guys recognize him, right? I mean, the guy's trying to get people into this, in this outer space. He owns like 200 businesses, and this gentleman here endorses our company. So are you gonna listen to multi-billionaires saying this is a great industry, this is a great company? Or are you gonna listen to people that don't know anything about business? That's the difference, okay? now. Let's take advantage of this bonus. Here's what we do. It all starts with launching your business. Launching your business, okay? So when you get started, in the first seven days are the most important part of your business. This is where we're actually gonna sit down with you. We have a one-page document, and it's step-by-step step what your role is and what our role is. And we're gonna walk you through and help launch your business. Here's what we tell people that are, are, are the sponsors launching. We said, listen, if you're not willing to launch someone correctly, Either get someone else to do it or don't sign them up because we don't want people to have a bad launch. Okay? And if the new, new person is coming on board, we tell them all the time, say, if you're not willing to be launched correctly, don't sign up. Just become a customer. Because see, when you launch your business, guys, we've got to get it up and running. Yes. 
okay? And we want to do it at a fast pace. Now, is it always going to be full fast pace? No, it's just those first really seven to 30 days. We're going to help launch your business. Think of an, of an airplane, right? Any people, do you guys understand on an airplane, if you're flying from LA to New York, 80% of the fuel used from LA to New York is used on takeoff? Did you guys know that? Think about it. 80% of the fuel from LA to New York is used on takeoff. The other 20% is spread out for the, for the, for the trek across the country. Right? So if you get in a plane, and if that pilot doesn't get it 100% throttle, if they only get it 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 95, 99, they only get it 99% on takeoff, do you know where you end up? It's called the trees. <laughs> you have the runway. That's not a good place to, 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 to end up. Right? So we say in those first 30 days, guys, those first seven days is the most important part. We want to launch your business. You know, in the airline industry, you guys remember the safety demo? What is the first thing we, we teach you guys? How to fasten your what? Seatbelt. You guys were riding in cars, I'm sure, but we still teach you how to ride fasten your seatbelt. Why? Because here's what we know. During takeoff is the bumpiest time. When we get to cruise, what happens? It smooths out. So the bumpiest time, the time where we need to launch your business in the beginning. So we're going to show you how to do that. Okay? This is what a document looks like. Regardless of which document you use, they're all going to teach the same thing. Okay? Here's our goal. When we get you started, our goal, and you want to do this immediately, is you want to become a qualified team trainer. This is where you get seven points, and we help you get those three preferred services. Okay? We encourage you to be as many customers as you possibly can. We'll help you find one outside the house, but you want to get qualified immediately because you can't start making money until you're qualified. So if you can't make money until you're qualified, do you want to get qualified now or later? Now. now. So you get qualified immediately, and we'll show you how to do that. Okay? Now. Customer source will come from yourself, people that we show the opportunity to that don't become customers, and then later on it's going to be it's going to come from referrals and other individuals. Right now, just focus on yourself immediately, and we're going to show you how to get one or two customers outside of your house to get you in a position to get qualified. Okay. Now the Strive for Five, we already talked about that. Uh, getting free service, we have people that are literally getting free wireless service in 30 days from starting our company. Okay. Now here's what's interesting. Did I pass one? Okay. Here's a strike for five for customers. It's going to impact because obviously the IBO is going to create more, more referrals. It's going to impact the customer because of the annual savings. If you think about it, if people just didn't have to pay a cell phone bill, what difference would that make? If you're, if you're spending $70, $80 a month, that's almost $800 a year in savings, right? And then of course, the future, our company's going to start bundling where not only can you get energy, but internet, TV. It's going to be to the point, guys, where we're going to create this rewards program where customers have the opportunity to get rid of all of their bills. What would it mean if you just didn't have any bills? The essential stuff. How much money would that release to you to do other things, right? Very, very exciting. Now here's what's interesting. We, uh, we, we're part of a foundation called We'll Play for Food Foundation. And if you guys may or may not know, but there's literally 17 million children here in the U.S. that have no idea where the next meal is coming from. And every time we, as IBOs, go out, refer someone who becomes a customer, it feeds a hungry child here in the US. And we share that all the time. Matter of fact, it's on our customer storefront. And here's some statistics. 88% of Americans said, if given the opportunity, they would buy services with a social benefit. That, that goes to like the World Play for Food Foundation. 84% of Americans said they would tell their friends and family about a company with social benefits. It's amazing that we have the opportunity to go to someone and say, listen, every month, Jennifer, when you pay your flash wireless bill, a child's being fed. And today, guys, we have fed, we fed over a short period of time close to 500,000 children. And our goal by the end of this year is to feed one meal, one meal. Okay? So, big social benefit there. We'll play for Food Foundation. If you haven't had a chance to see it, go take a look at it at your, your friend's online store party. It's on there. Okay? Now, how many people want to know how to get customers? Yes. People get customers. We have a very simple... Uh, philosophy, um, and it starts with, can you do me a huge favor? Our co-founder, Mr. Tony Cooper, said, people don't want to be sold, but they do want to help people by doing them a favor. Okay? How many people agree that friends and family don't like to be sold, especially by friends and family? Right. But what we found out over 22 years of business is most people want to help people out. Okay? So when we ask someone to become a customer, we're not a salesperson. So if you don't like sales, congratulations, you're not going to sell it. Sell it. See, when I called up my mom, all I asked was, Mom, would you do me a huge favor? 
and I just told her why I was doing it, asked her if it would support her son. Did I have to talk about pricing? Absolutely. But the beginning wasn't about the sell, it was about helping me out. Now how powerful is that? How many people have ever moved furniture? <laughs> have you ever helped somebody move, they, you help them move? Would you say people help people move because we like to move furniture? <laughs> or would you say it's because of that person? It's because of that person. So the people that get the most customers understand this philosophy and they lead with, hey, would you do me a huge favor? And then we go into all that stuff, okay? So the key is have urgency, passion, favor, relationship, and the Will Play for Food Foundation, okay? Again, we have a script. We'll go through all of this with you guys um, as well. Now, here's a script again. It kind of goes into the same thing. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on that because when we sit down, we're going to teach you the favor approach on how to get customers. Now, our goal is to get you to the position of ETT, and all that simply means, again, is you've got your customers. Now we're going to help you identify the people that you know. So what we're going to do to help you identify who's going to become a customer or a business partner, the first thing we do is we're going to help you uh, create a list. The reason why you want to hit this position of ETT immediately is it creates a story for you. It puts you in a position to make bonuses. It gives you the ability to go to a next level training. Uh, and, but more importantly, it's about duplication. So people say, Damon, you have a great presentation. And I'm like, thank you. If, if you said the same thing over and over again for 11 years, you would be pretty good as well. How many people have sang their, their favorite song? Yeah. And it doesn't take you 11 years and you know all the words, right? So what I learned is this business is not about the best presentation. It's about who can duplicate the fastest. Who can teach people a very simple system and who can do it the fastest? And that's what we're going to teach you, okay? So how are we going to help you identify people to become business partners? First thing we're going to do is we're going to say, make a list. Make a list of everybody that you know. We said make a list of 100 people. People say, I don't know 100 people. I say, sure you do. Pull out your phone. I promise you, you do. See, a list of 100 people is not 100 people you think will do the business or 100 people you think will become a customer. It's 100 people that you know. Because the good thing is, is everybody that you know pays a bill. And I believe if had the opportunity, heard the right way, would want to get paid off of them. Okay? So once you create a list, we're going to present, oh, present the information to them. And the way that's done is through presentations. Whether it's a home presentation, which is the most effective, all that means is this. You're going to call some people over to your house, your living room. Uh, an expert's going to come over to your house, your living room, and share the information. 100% by far the best way because your friends, your family are comfortable in your living room. We're not dressed in suits. We might be in jeans, a sports coat. This is a very laid back approach to get people the information. Okay? The other way is through uh, presentations like this, two-on-ones. You could use a website, a webinar, a conference call. But the main point is this. Your whole goal, guys, is not to present the information. Your whole goal is simply to invite. To invite. And when you invite, you want to have excitement, conviction, and urgency. All this other stuff down here, it all changes based on who you're talking to. The only part I tell people they want to focus on is getting this part correct. Okay? Because you're going to invite people to come hear the information. So the first thing I would do if I was calling on, sir, what's your name? Solomon. Solomon. Solomon's my friend. I call up Solomon because I want to share the information. I say, hey, Solomon, listen, man, do you have a minute? Sure. We're role playing. <laughs> Solomon, do you have a minute? Yes, I do. Perfect. Why am I asking Solomon that? If Solomon's at work, or if he has kids, if he's cooking and the, 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 the fire's burning up his food, does he have a minute? No. Absolutely not. So there's no time to go into it. What if I say, hey, Solomon, do you have a minute? And he says, yes, I do. Fantastic. Then I can go to the, the, the next question. And let's just say I'm having a home presentation, today being Tuesday and Thursday. I'd say, hey, Solomon, do you have anything major going on Thursday at 7.30? No, not right now. Perfect. He said, no, not right now. Why am I saying key words, do you have anything major going on? How many people agree major is not like watching reruns of Friends? <laughs> That's what we're talking about, right? And if I say, Solomon, do you have anything major going on? Does, does, does Solomon think, well, there's got to be something happening big? Yeah. And he said right after that, no, I don't. So he, since he said, no, I don't, I continue on with the script. The script may be, hey, Solomon, you know my wife and I, we've been working in the airline industry for all these years. We took a 33% pay cut. Just tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired. We started looking for ways to make more money. I know you've talked about that before as well. Listen, we're having some people come over. We're expanding a business here now in Merlo. Thursday at 7.30. Can I count on you coming for about 30 minutes? Fantastic. 
He said yes. Uh, okay? Now, did I explain it? No. I just invited it. I asked the question. Because it's a question, i got to wait for what? A response. Do you have a minute? Yes. Do you have anything major going on? No. The only thing he can say is yes, no, or maybe. When it comes to major things, right? If he says no, yes, I don't even continue. Oh, all right, Solomon, never mind. I'll call you later. If I said major going on, and he says yes, I do have something major going on, and I say, oh, I'll call you later. What do you think he's thinking now? What's going on? Yeah. How many people have heard this saying, curiosity what? There's the cat. Right? Now, if he says, I don't know, I don't continue. I say, do me a favor, Solomon, check your schedule and get back to me. Well, what, what about? Check your schedule and then get back to me. Okay? You see how that works? So if it's, not, if it's something other than a yes, if it's a no, maybe, what is it? I say, check your schedule and get back to me. Okay? Now, the reason why I'm not explaining to Solomon is because Solomon knows me. You guys understand that? Okay? So he knows what I do for a living. Right? So if I'm in the airline industry, I'm, so, I'm serving sodas at you know, 34,000 feet. He knows about I'm in the airline industry. So Solomon asked me, hey, David, how many bags can I bring through security? And I told him, him knowing what I do for a living, would he accept that information? Yes. Absolutely. Even if he was a multimillionaire, stay-at-home mom, if he asked me something that regarded the airline industry, he wouldn't be a stay-at-home mom. I'm just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon looked at him like, dude. Um, but do you see what I'm getting at? Yes, sir. He would, he, would, he would accept it because he knows that's where I come from. Here's what I can tell you. Your friends, your family know you for you. Regardless of what it is, they know you for you. And if you give them information based on what you do, because they're asking what information for what you do, they'll, they'll accept it. But here's the thing about it. Solomon knows I don't know anything about this. But what do we do? Solomon, here's what it's about. You get paid off billing, blah, 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 blah. If Solomon's my friend. He's listening to me, but he's going like this in the back of his mind. What do you know about that? Right? Or he says, Dave, Damon, you did really good. I can't do what you did. Or if he's a business owner, like a lot of business owners see it, Dave Damon, you're going to do well, but I don't have time to spend 30, 40 minutes on the phone like you did. But if all I did was invite Solomon and Mr. Price explain the information, regardless of he, if he could speak good or had no time, can he do what I did? Yeah, because Mr. Price can say, hey, well, Solomon, you like it. Can you do what Damon did? Well, of course. What did Damon do? He just called me up, invited me over, and you shared it. Exactly. The person that can do it, the, duplicate the fastest, makes the most money. Okay? So understand when you go out, you gotta get excited, you gotta be urgent, and you just gotta invite. Because you, you understand most people aren't excited about anything today. <laughs> and if you're just excited, they just wanna know you're excited. I had a business partner came in, and this was, this was his, he was like this. And this is how we talk. Hey, man, how's it going? I said, listen, you gotta get excited. It was okay. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I told him. I said, listen, when you call, just say you're excited. So he did. Hey guys, what are you doing? This man, I'm excited. And his friends went, wow, he's excited. <laughs> <laughs> because he said he was excited, right? So we have a system in place, guys. All you're going to do is teach you the script. Matter of fact, when we launch our business, we're going to do a little role play. And you're like, oh, I don't want to role play. Oh, yes, you do. Because the hardest part is just getting your mouth to move the way it wants. McDonald's role play. When you pull up, what do they say? They have a script. They go to McDonald's, well, you know. Can I take your order? Right? Yeah. They have a script. You have a proven script to help you have success. You just have to be willing to follow. Okay? So, when people show the information, they're going to be yes, questions agree, or no, that they're not looking for an opportunity. Okay? Oh, I went fast. Okay. Perfect. So, the system of support, guys, is in place for you to have success. It's in place for you to have success. Duplicate without experience or skill. How many people, again, you were invited out here today, how hard is the person working that invited you out? Whether it was a presentation or the training today. See, my mentors are Damon. If you could just get good at bringing people to see the information, you could go all the way to senior vice president. That's all you've got to do. He goes, Damon, all you've got to do is become a taxi cab driver. He says, just put people in your vehicle and bring them out. <laughs> put people in your vehicle and bring them out. And then when you get a lot of people, you become a bus driver. You put more people in a vehicle and you bring them out. And the person in front of the room is going to share the information. Is that easy? Yes or yes? yes. Hey, we're going to teach you that. You know, I've had the opportunity to work very closely with the, the leadership out here, guys. And you guys have one of the best leaderships out there. 
And this market is brand new, and it's wide open. How many people live in Amarillo? You guys have a number? No, I mean, number-wise. There's more than this. 300,000 people. 300,000 people live in Amarillo. What about in the surrounding towns? 500,000. Let me ask you a question. Out of 500,000, if we just got 1% of the cell phone customers of 500,000, what would that do for each and every one of you today? Okay. Who's good at math? 500,000, 1% is what? 5,000 billing customers going through your bank account at 10%. What would it do? Here's what I can tell you guys. The person, the people that are going to make the most money in our company here in Amarillo and the, the surrounding cities haven't even heard of ACN yet. They haven't even heard of us yet. You want to hear something great? Someone in this room is going to introduce them or someone in this room is going to introduce someone that introduces them and they're going to join our company. Because of that, you'll benefit for the rest of your life. You're going to meet someone that owns this hotel or owns multiple hotels and they're going to find they can get paid off a credit card every time someone checks in at a hotel desk. They can create that into revenue, and they're going to join the company. But because you introduce them, all the credit card billing that's going through their business is going to go to you as well. It doesn't matter who you are. We just have to find the right people. You just have to find people better than us or me. That's what I was talking about. Okay? Now, why are events so important to your business? See, events create belief. Okay? Events create belief. If you're a business owner today, did it create a little more belief in what you're doing today? If you're looking at ACF for the very first time, but when you walked in to this moment right now, do you have a little more belief in our opportunity? Yes or yes? yes. Okay? So, events create belief. Here's what belief does. When you have belief, belief gives you energy. People that are in ACN, people that are looking at ACN, if you like what you hear, how many of you have like a little more energy, like you want to go invite some people to come see what we're doing? Yeah. See? Events create energy. See, when you have energy, energy creates action. And when you take action, action creates results. And then after results, when you get results, guess what happens to your belief? It goes up again. And it's just a cycle, over and over. So every time you plug into events, whether it's something like this, our team calls that we have on Sunday nights, our international conventions, guys, it creates belief in what, you're, in what we're doing. And that keeps you going on. Guys, let me give you another analogy. You guys will understand this, unless you're too young. <laughs> I'm 39. Mm. See this here? How many guys remember the racetrack? When you were a kid. Remember you put it together? It had a loop, maybe two. At the end of here, it had a little motor going. And you put that little car, and it would shoot it around, like Mach 1. it goes go through the loops, and right before it died, it was running out of steam, what would it hit? That little motor again. And what would it do? Pew! It shoot it around again. And it would come around and hit it again. Pew! Shoot it around again. That's what trading events do for us. Because you know what? We live in a negative world. How many people run into some negative people? See, sometimes you need to come in and get refreshed and refocused. I, I relate to like going to church. Man, some days I have bad days. You know, I'm like, I don't even want to go to church. But when I come to church, guess what? I'm like, hallelujah, amen. amen. And I'm fired up. Until next week, I come back around, I'm like, I gotta get back to church, right? <laughs> the same thing, events will help build your business. You gotta be willing to learn and willing to plug in to the system, okay? So here's the events, here's the type of events that we have, international training conventions, team calls, just plug into everything you possibly can that's gonna help you have success. So guys, with that said, you know, that's information we wanted to share with you. Um, you know, we're very, very excited about this area. We're very excited, we're just looking for the right people. You know, people often come up to us and they say, you know, oh, this person's trying to get me in. And my, I have a very simple philosophy. I only want to get you in if you want in. Because if you've ever done something and invited someone to something that you love that didn't want to be there, have you guys ever done that? You tried so hard, you finally convinced them to go to you, with you to this movie, to this restaurant, to on a vacation. And once they came, they, they, all they did is complain. And all you can think to yourself is, why did I invite them? Why did I convince them? And so we quickly learned in our team, guys, we're not looking to convince people. If I feel convincing to you, it's only because I know what it can do for people, because I know what it's done for us. Will it take work? Absolutely. Will it take time? Absolutely. The question is this, are you working hard now anyways? So if you're gonna work hard, would you not work hard for yourself 
and not for someone else, and truly be in control of what you can do, opposed to giving someone else control and letting you go when they felt like it. That's all we want people to understand. Because it's not about you quitting what you're doing, it's about you creating something outside of what you're doing. And you may be like me. When I looked at this ACL opportunity, I didn't have $499. In fact, I felt like I did. And how many of you guys have friends that tell you what you need to hear about what you want to hear? That was my friend. Here's what my friend said. I said, Doug, I love it. I just don't have $499. Here's what he told me. He loved it. He says, Damon, let me ask you a question. Three things. Number one, how does that make you feel? He says, you're 28 years old. You've been working for how long? Since your restaurant, to the airline? You've been working for how long? And you're telling me you don't have $499 of discretionary income? He goes, let me tell you something, Damon. What you're doing isn't working. He says, number two, how long have you had this problem? And most importantly, what are you going to do to fix it? And guys, let me tell you, it wasn't something I wanted to hear. How many people understand? Sometimes when people love you, they tell you what you need to hear. And it made me think. And I said, you know what? I'll find one. And I did. But we got a credit card. OPM, other people's money. <laughs> All they would give me is four hundred, five hundred dollar limit. I said that's okay. I'm gonna have a dollar extra. It's only four ninety nine stuff. <laughs> and I got started. We had a bonus like this. I went to work. I followed the system. I made that money back in the first thirty days. Paid off the credit card. Right. So what I tell you is this: if you see an opportunity, guys, don't let four hundred ninety nine dollars stop you. I said to the gentleman the other day, he goes, "Man, four hundred ninety dollars. If I spend that, I'll be broke." I said, "If spending four hundred ninety nine dollars makes you broke, what are you now?" Broke. Right. I said, you're broke, stroke a check, let's go change it, right? So whatever you gotta do, we'll figure it out with you. All we're saying is if you want an opportunity to do something big, to change your life, to change your family tree, there's not gonna be a better place to do it than what our company is doing, guys. We're not on trial. People always tell me, David, I wanna, I wanna research you. I'm like, what are you, what are you gonna find that Donald Trump couldn't find? What DirecTV, Sprint, all these major Fortune 500 companies couldn't find. What are you gonna find about us? That's not going to be right. You know, you can't go to 24 countries without countries looking at you. Do you guys understand that? I said, that can't happen. But see, the unfortunate part, you know how most people research? Yeah. Google. You know what Google is? It's a bathroom wall. Right? You can write anything you want about anybody. I tell people all the time, Google something and just put scam next to it and everything will come up. Santa Claus, scam. Christmas, scam. God, scam. College, scam. It doesn't make a difference. It's all on there. Right? See, they put blogs. My pastor says blog stands for basement living opinion giving. Okay? So the research has been done. All you have to be willing to do is just step out of your comfort zone with us next to you and just walk with us and help you build this business. It might take time. I don't know what your journey is going to be. It took us 10 years to get regional vice president. There's people that are doing it in two years today. There's people that are doing it in yeah. a year. That might not be you, but how many of you would love to introduce that person? Oh, yeah. Right? Go, 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 and cheer them on all the way. Because you're getting a little percentage. Okay? So if that's you, you want to get started? Talk with us. You have questions, anything outside of this, you know, about, about, about the process, what the next step is, talk to one of the leaders. We'll get one of these in your hand. We'll help you get started. Okay? You can join the team. Now, if you just want to become a customer before you leave, do us a favor, just fill this out. Name, phone number, all that stuff. We're just going to look and see if we can save you some money. Is that okay as well? Excellent. Guys, so that's the, that's uh, our presentation. We appreciate you coming out. Um, thank you guys so much for sitting up here and laughing at my corny jokes. Um, but you know, we're just very passionate about helping people. And if you see an opportunity, we'd love to lock arms with you and help you guys build business, okay? So with that said, guys, thanks for coming out. God bless, and uh, have a great evening.